Hello and welcome to another episode here on the Let's Play Minecraft series. Today uh, we are uh, starting off in the nether once again. It is the nether update after all and uh, I'm going to be here for a couple of episodes I think. It's uh, what's uh, the central point at the moment for a lot of Minecraft videos. And uh, we are of course also starting off in the nether hub which got done last episode and I find find it very good to have because I uh, often uh, don't find any mobs in the vicinity or inside here at least so it's a very safe haven and uh, very good to have. I've also started uh, working on more tunnels going in in some ways. Uh, over there I've put in the squid farm mechanics so there I can collect uh, squid ink and uh, I've also started Starting on a couple of other tunnels, for example, the blue one here, which leads to my mining uh, mining uh, desert. But what it also has is uh, the pathway to today's project, and I've not done a lot on it at the moment. But I've started with going up to a pretty particular level, and that's going to be the bedrock level because we are going to today get. Uh, get our uh, wits about us and uh, go above the nether roof because I found that I want to do a bartering farm with the piglins and for that to be needed I have need to have gold and at the moment I don't have a lot of gold and the best to make gold is a gold farm and that is best placed up on the nether roof and uh, I've as you see prepared a little bit so I've done the floor up here and then we have gone to the bedrock ceiling then what I've learned because I've never done this before uh, with uh, trying to get up on the bedrock here uh, I've only used creative mode in past times and punched my way up there but now I want to try the real way trying the survival way so I've started up with watching a lot of tutorials and uh, I will link those tutorials down in the description for those of you who want to have a more in-depth and good explanation for how to do this but I'm going to show it as well and what we need to have is some ender pearls we also need to get uh, a particular block and if I put up my debug screen here and we take a look uh, at the, the right side of the screen then we can see that uh, we have the target block and that block is on a particular height we watch for the y coordinate so we see that it's on 127 and that's a very important coordinate to have because if uh, for example if we would have taken this 125 we can see that it has at least two more bedrock uh, things above it so we could never get uh, on the top there because other bedrock would be in the way here we have only one block in between us and the ceiling or getting above the ceiling at least so that's why we need one to have one that's on uh, 27 what's also important is to have everything with us and I've also marked up the other coordinates for this block so it's minus 44 minus 34 because that's the block we need to break once we are up on the roof and yeah I'm going to try this now first time we'll see if this works so pushing upwards and jumping and then according to tutorials we need to end the it here and it worked nice Good, good, good. Uh, I'm going to start off with just putting a block down here so I have some form of marker because this is a very desolate and empty place. I'm also going to change my head protector because I ne don't want this to break. And uh, yeah, now then we need to mark up uh, where we need to be. So we had uh, 44 minus 34 so that's the block we need to break good and uh, I've also of course taken some uh, things with me both for the gold farm but also for bedrock breaking of course you can uh, use uh, nether portals in this uh, new version I think it was 
in 1.15 or if it was in 1.16, I don't remember when it came. But uh, you can make nether portals here and those nether portals will be able to take you up on the roof. But I want to bake bedrock because I find it much easier to go that way. And what we need, we are going to, I'm going to empty out the things I don't need here. I'm going to need TNT. I'm going to need some uh, redstone blocks. We're going to need a piston or two pistons, and we're going to need oak trapdoor or whatever trapdoor you have, and one obsidian. There, and then we have to move everything away because we don't want them to break. And then, now that we have this block, that's the one we need to break. And uh, if I remember correctly, we need to have one obsidian there. Then we have to take away the uh, netherrack. We need to put one of the pistons here. And then uh, a redstone block there. Trapdoor on the upper part there, so we can close that, and then some TNT in hand. This method is not working uh, every time, so we may need a few tries, that's why I have a lot of TNT with me, but uh, we'll see if this works. So I'm going to explain it a little bit uh, first. So I'm going to put TNT on top of there, then I'm going to push myself down with this and uh, 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 sort of... Uh, try and place a piston uh, watching the corner of the obsidian block there. Uh, I don't know how this mechanics works because baking, breaking bedrock is not a very, very good science to know about because I don't know how it works. It's some sort of thing. So uh, I'm just going to try it. We'll see if it works and hopefully it does. Otherwise, I'm going to try this and uh, we'll see once we have a finished uh, result and see if we did this right. So, uh, TNT first and then fast to the piston down and uh, try and break this. And something happened. We'll see. No, it did not work. The piston was facing the wrong way. So, we try it once again. And now we can see that the piston is not facing upwards. I think this is... no? No, it did not work. <laughs> okay. Yes! Finally! And I think I've done it with the uh, 10 TNT or something. 10 times! <laughs> have to go back and watch that clip maybe and see if uh, how many TNT we had at the start. But I think it was 35. But yes, finally! After a lot of time and me watching the tutorial once again and uh, seeing that yes, it should be working good. So now we have our bedrock placed or uh, removed and uh, yeah, I did not have my my uh, my ladder on me. Now then, we are uh, 
going to start off with the next bit of our project and uh, we'll see that the one I'm after so we put these things away once again of course we're going to also put in a um, Uh, the, 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 another portal here, but I need to to wait a little bit for that because uh, I have to take the coordinates for that and work with the mat first. So that's going to be off camera. But yeah, now we are going to start off with not that. Uh, we need the scaffolding here because now it's going to be a new adventure in trying to get a working gold farm up here. And um, to start that off, I'm going to need to go pretty far up because as soon as we get a lot far further up, I don't need to spawn proof a lot of the nether if we are far up on the ceiling here. So I'm going to climb up, try and uh, find a good spot here as well because I don't want my farm to be just exactly over my hole here. And uh, yeah, going to start on that farm and see how far we get. Uh, it's of course going to be a time lapse, so I hope you enjoy that and we'll see each other after we have done a little bit of prog progress on that farm. See you after the time lapse. And welcome back from that short time lapse. Some changes have happened. 
the bulk of the farm is done. Most of it is these platforms that we need to have to spawn in our zombified piglins. But uh, also the most important thing is of course killing chambers and uh, collection systems. So what I've done is I've put down 24 minecarts in this space here and they are going to entity cram uh, any piglin that gets pushed inside of here. What I've also done is that I made these walkways that uh, the piglins want to take so they are going to take this and go uh, walk uh, using them and they want to of course be as close to me as possible to kill me and that's why I've uh, put a sort of two or almost three block gap in between me and any piglin here so the closest thing that they can get is by occupying this block here. That's why they are going to they make their way over there. So we make uh, use of their sort of pathfinding algorithm to, to use as a base for this farm. What I've also done, uh, except that, is to, of course, I'm going to angry them and they are going to attack me. And uh, to keep that aggro on me, because uh, I found that uh, after this swarm of piglins have died out, it takes a little bit of time before... Um, new piglins spawn in and I think that's because uh, uh, the game is uh, choosing what to actually spawn in so for example uh, sp um, ghasts or magma blocks uh, magma cubes can also be spawned on these platforms at the moment I'm going to spawn proof for ghosts up there so we're going to put in a roof that's going to cover everything so ghasts can't spawn but uh, for the moment we are just testing this so it works what I also have is these two guys, one here and uh, one standing over there. And those are there to keep the aggro because uh, once the piglins die out and these guys are still angry. So they are ge keeping everyone angry at me that gets uh, pushed into this and spawns new piglins as well. The one thing that I haven't done and is not finished yet is the collection system. I've just done a mock-up at the moment to, to see how the wor farm works because it's not very uh, productive to make a large collection system and then the farm doesn't work and you have to make something over or do something again. So that's going to be the next uh, thing to do on the agenda after we have tried out the farm. So I'm going to give you a small show off how this farm works so if i haven't been up here before then it's going to be me standing here standing on that and uh, i'm going to shoot these guys and hopefully when i've uh, tried this out it's going not to work and of course we're not going to shoot the guys in the middle there we shoot that guy and these ones are angry and now they get turned angry as well and they take the path going around and they get killed and yeah that can happen that they uh, get stuck a little bit but uh, mostly they finished up and get themselves going uh, I need to lower this down a little bit and of course the XP gets pushed into us as well I can uh, manage with my silk pickaxe here. Uh, if we take a look down here, uh, you can see that I have left the where the place where the minecart is standing free. I could of course of course put a, um, a slab here, but I didn't because the XP gets easy access to to uh, me when I do that, so not a lot of it gets stuck. And that's why I've done that, so it gets pushed here and also a little bit through the block. And here we have a new guy, he's working fine, coming here, and these guys as well. So this seems to be working, not as fast maybe as the Enderman farm, but it seems to be working okay. And yeah, the new guys gets aggroed as well, good. This works. So, now... With the farm almost done, we're going to put in our collection system and uh, I'm going to start with that change up a little bit and uh, we'll see each other after these guys have uh, gone docile and not, are not mad at me anymore. Now then, we have uh, done a little bit of progress on the farm. 
Uh, most of it is uh, placed down here instead of up there because up there everything is done. I've uh, uh, made the farm a little bit better by putting in two more piglins uh, to uh, distribute the aggro. And uh, what I also noticed was that uh, I don't need to actually spawn proof the, the upper floor there because we are in a crimson uh, biome forest fo forest biome and uh, guests don't spawn here so i don't need to to uh, spawn proof it up there what i have been doing though is uh, to start off our sorting system here on this side and uh, i have to go around here and show you using this so what i've done uh, is that I've used the usual sorting system we have with, with uh, everything here. And uh, I made everything spawn proof with putting uh, either um, pressure plates here and also over there because I don't want to sort anything. I have three uh, sh uh, units here that uh, are used for the gold swords that uh, a lot of the pigmen, uh, p piglins drop. So, uh, and those things can't stack so I can't sort them so that's why I have a three empty chests here for those things and also everything else that's not in the sorting system in case something else gets thrown in there and yeah uh, that's the most of the thing I've built the stuff in gold because why not and uh, also because I'm actually going to incorporate a little bit of gold in the design of the building so I decided to use a little bit of uh, flexing material and use gold for the redstone parts and uh, I've done a couple of uh, things here so we have a lot of a lot of uh, storage i have one chest there one there one there so we have four chests in total plus all the uh, hoppers i don't know how how large or how efficient this farm is going to be but i'm going to uh, afk here for a lot of time and we will see what uh, how the rates are going to be when i start off this but we have one more thing to do and that's uh, actually trying to get a design to work because uh, we can't leave it like this uh, platform uh, just riding above the, the the ceiling we need a little bit of more of the stuff to make it look good and also because i'm going to make something on the other side that's going to be for another episode but we are going to sort of mimic the design we do here onto there so that's what's going to be but i'm going to start with building and it's going to be using a lot of the polished blackstone variants but also all the different different stuff like um, blackstone uh, polished uh, blackstone uh, bricks and uh, a little bit of regular blackstone and i'm also going to use some of the new lights and so forth so it's going to be a bit of a build and it's going to be in the form of a time lapse so you can follow along hope you enjoy it we'll see each other after that
Okay, so we're back once again after that time lapse and uh, I realized that I had forgotten one material that I needed for the build so that's what I'm going to be getting right now. It's uh, the things that's going to be in front of the gold and it needs to be a little bit of glass. Uh, there we have that glass and do I have, yeah, I have some regular grey, good. I also have paints, but no, we're going. We need to have the the glass uh, block because um, I'm going to, like I said before the time lapse, I'm going to mimic the. Yeah, if I could go up, good. So uh, I'm going to mimic uh, a similar style on the other side, and I'm needing the glass because behind that glass there are going to be some piglins in the other design so that's why I have glass here and if we take a small shortcut that hurts a little bit but it's worth it to s get up here faster than uh, this ladder can take you so now here and some grey stained glass above here if I could fix it so yes have to be just above uh, it to reach there now our facade for the the collection system for the gold farm is finished and uh, the gold farm is finished as well and I find it to look very very nice and very good. I really love this new polished blackstone block. It's uh, very nice looking and uh, it reminds me a little bit of the polished andesite which is also a favorite block of mine even though it's a little bit more darker so it fits very well with the nether team here. But yeah, that's everything mostly for this episode, I think. So we're going to finish it by hopefully going... Yeah, I'm going to have to put in some temporary blocks here. Uh, I don't know if uh, stuff can spawn on trapdoors, but uh, I don't think so. But we can put in some some of uh, these things instead so now everything should be almost spawn proof not everything i see now we take a couple of these uh, the gold blocks here need to be spawn proof as well everything to make the farm a little bit better and I've done everything there. Everything is, should be spawn proof here. I don't know if stuff can spawn on chests, but I hope they will not. So yeah, the facade is done and uh, I'm going to finish off with standing up in the piglin farm and show you the fruit of our labor for this episode. If the scaffolding could go a little bit faster. There, finally. So, we'll see. Uh, going to turn the farm on. Yes, it worked. Yes, it worked. And then, oh, sorry. <laughs> there, I'm going to turn to you. And as the piglins come in, I'm going to hope that you have enjoyed the episode. If you did, consider leaving a like or a comment on the episode and tell me what you liked about it. And even subscribe so you don't miss my future episodes in the nether and in Minecraft. Hope you enjoy it. We'll see each other soon. Goodbye.